Learning from the best. No, 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 no. When they bought the swag yeah. box. Learning from the best. Look at this. Big God player. Dang. Let's go to the Sunnies. Let's go to it all. Definitely one of the calls I've been for uh, many years now. And well, that's saying a lot for a man from uh, Murray. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I asked a couple of times on the radio already for for a vest or something. I, I couldn't feel the radio, so uh, it's hard to do anything at that point. Today we've got a short, intense day for the sprinters. Our guys will be focused, we're going to work for Meza and uh, finish off the road part of Tirreno with the time trial to come tomorrow. I want a focus team all day today, guys. It's short, it's fast, it's going to be over. Focus from everyone in their own specific role, all right? We're going to finish in the top 10, so I'm just going to have a nice TT tomorrow, nice little test tomorrow. And the last one, I said it's a tricky final, but it is a good one for Meza. It's a good one for Meza because position is just as important as legs on a finish like today. No one's good for me. The gap is still two minutes, so it's highly unlikely that you will catch the break. For the sprint today, you do not have to do the sprint today. It's up to you. No need for me, it's no need to take a risk for seventh place on the stage. Copy? <laughs> Guys, the focus now is just to make sure that Simon gets inside three kilometers safely. Pretty what? Pretty. Beep. I was suffering a bit after yesterday, I think. I, was, I, I looked at the numbers afterwards and I was expecting a lot higher because it felt a lot harder. But I think it was just the fatigue setting in. Oh, that break was strong. It wasn't an easy day, but they stayed away. Yeah, actually I felt good just on the last lap when it was going on. Before I was uh, a bit suffering since yesterday. Cold, cold legs. Breakaways uh, rarely arrive uh, in Turner and uh, the sprinters teams, uh, yeah it was strange because they, they had that break under control and then when we came towards the circuits they just hesitated a little bit and uh, the break was just too strong today. So no, no sprint for Luca. Tomorrow's TT, uh, there'll be a few guys, uh, time trial specialists Jack and, and Heppy especially going flat out, they don't get too many chances at a TT and also a very important process for Simon to go through. His, uh, his last TT before the Giro. Wait. Tot out. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. Well, Once a week we get him out for a bit of sunshine and fresh air. It's good for his uh, bone density with the vitamin D. And he had a good day. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> a few toilet stops along the way. I know you enjoyed spending your week with driving Blanco. Yeah. Well, he's standing here. I'm not going to say it's bad, <laughs> am I? <laughs> Well, hopefully you wouldn't say anything bad anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're always entertained in the car. <laughs>